Look what I have. She's back. Na 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 bat bird. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. That was my dog Baron running across the room. Today I want to show you this Chanel Boy card case and do a review on it. This is a requested video. A couple people asked about how I was doing with this. I've had it for a month or so now and so people want to know what's going on with that. I'm going to tell you everything I can think of about that. Before I do, I also had some people request videos about my jewelry and where I get it because I try to find kind of unusual pieces like this one. And I don't know that I want to do a video about my whole jewelry collection because most of the pieces wouldn't be available for you to get anyway. Um, so let me know in the comment section if that's something that you're interested in seeing to know the places that I shop for jewelry, the places I tend to look. But I did want to tell you about this necklace and a couple pairs of earrings. Oh, and this bracelet that I just got the other day. So I got the necklace, the bracelet, I got these earrings, which I think are pretty cool. And then I got these earrings, these here, also pretty cool. And both of those I found at the Saks Off Fifth, the Saks Fifth Avenue outlet, and they're by this brand, Ava and Aiden. And I tried Googling them and all I found were shoes, not jewelry, but it was all priced very well. So the necklace was like $24, the earrings were all about 12, and the bracelet was 10, I think. And actually these round earrings I got on sale for $4, and I think the bracelet was on clearance for 10, and it was usually 14 or something. Also wanted to point out, in case you hear her in the video, I have the perch out because I was trying to get Vincent to be in this video. She hasn't been in one for a while, and I know some people miss her. But she did not want to come to me, so you may hear her in the background some, and that's that. I'll try to edit out annoying noises, but if they pop in there, that's what it is. All right, let's get to the Chanel piece, which is what you came for. So here she is. And I'll just do an overview there. This is in the black caviar with the gold um, hardware. I got her. I have two peanuts. That's her favorite thing. So I'm gonna put those in her bowl. There you go. She'll eat them for you. Keep you entertained. There she goes. All right, so back to the Chanel piece. Um, it is one continuous piece all the way around of the black caviar leather, and then it has the stitching to look like lines on the side, and then the diamond stitch quilting around the center. The middle piece I was saying is gold-toned, or the hardware I mean is gold-toned, but it's made to look like it's antiqued. And then on the sides, it has this, uh, just a flat piece of leather there, no quilting on that. Let me take the stuff out here so you can see it unstuffed. Inside, still stuffing it. Inside, there's this one slip pocket in the front and then the one big pocket that's a green tone. This one says made in Italy, that's just stamped on there and then Chanel with the little CC logo under that. It's a snap closure, so this hardware doesn't actually do anything. You can't pinch that. It's not a turn lock or pinch lock or whatever that would be called if it actually worked. It's just the snap. The snap itself, not sure if that will show up, if it'll focus, but I think you can see there it says Chanel Paris on the snap. And that's the only hardware on the piece. The stitching here looks good. I got this from Fashion File for about $100 over retail because I couldn't find it in the store and I wanted to tell you this. If you've watched my channel and you've heard my story about this, my search for this, I first wanted it and went to get it back in November of 2017. It is now June of 2018 and they didn't have it 
and uh, so I didn't get it. And I went back, I think twice in like maybe the beginning of 2018 and then in May of 2018. Still didn't have it both times. At one point, one of the sales associates said that he would call me if they got one in, but he never called me. So I went ahead and bought this off Fashion File and paid over retail because I just loved it so much. It was my dream Chanel piece um, and still is. I really am loving it. So I go into the store after I've bought this, a couple weeks after I bought this, and there she goes. And um, they have it, right? Of course, they have it right after I bought it. But I wanted to tell you about that because I noticed something when I pulled mine out and compared it to the one in the store. I noticed that the black caviar, which that was, was shinier than mine and that the gold was more worn. So like the button in the middle, for example, or the thing that looks like a button, was more of a silver tone. Like, you know, when you get, um, we know in the Vuitton hardware, when you touch the brass, that over time that fades off and turns silver. And that's what that looked like on the brand new one. Now I've heard some people say that Chanel quality is going downhill also, and that the hardware on Chanel is rubbing off and showing silver, so maybe that's a way around it for them. It's supposed to look silver, right? I also noticed on that piece, besides the shininess and the different hardware, was that the color inside was different. And I don't remember now what it was, if it was a black or a burgundy or a blue even. I don't remember now. But it wasn't this green, which I think is pretty. Um, so just wanted to let you know in case you go into the store. I, I have no doubt that this is authentic, so they must have just changed a few things. The serial number, by the way, is inside this pocket. It is right there, you see the sticker. I won't show the number exactly, but that's where it's located if you're curious. I love this piece so much. I'm so glad I got it. I'm okay at this point with paying $100 over retail because I really love it. And I don't do that kind of thing all the time. I get bargains all over the place. So it evens out as far as I'm concerned. Um, one thing that I worry about some on this, because I've seen this on other pieces that are pre-loved or used, is wear along the edges. So I'm being careful. I'm not being too careful, but I am being conscious at least of when I'm putting this in bags, not having the edging rub up against other things too hard or rub up against anything that's rough. Um, if she starts chewing on my book, let me know, because... I'll have to move it or cover it. Wait, over there. Be a good bird, Vincent. Are you being good? Are you being a good bird? Yes? So far, we'll see. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm being careful about the edges. The edges are not glazed. It's just the leather folded over and stitched close to the edge there. So it looks good to me so far. Also, you want to worry about the, um, or pay attention to the corners here, because those get wear too, where the leather gets worn and rubbed against things. So what I've been using this for, I, I had originally wanted it to hold, so I have a little all over the place here. I have my Sarah wallet from Vuitton, the full-size Sarah wallet. This holds like 16 cards and just holds a ton of stuff and it's huge. It's the biggest wallet that I was interested in from Vuitton. And what I was looking for was a small card case that would hold extra store cards that I didn't have a slot for in my Sarah wallet that I was holding upside down. So I got this. What I'm finding though so far is that I love it so much and it's so soft and it's so beautiful and I'm so excited to have it is that I've been using this as my main wallet. So I keep my driver's license and my debit card in that front slot here and I'll, I'll put two or three cards in here at a time and I feel like that's comfortable and it doesn't stretch it out. I don't think I would do any more than three though. 
And then in the center pocket, I'll put whatever cards I need to carry and some cash at the back. And uh, this is how it's looked the last couple days when I've carried it. So I've got it pretty full. This is actually a little more full than I'm comfortable keeping it at. Does that make sense? I really should take a few cards out of there, but this isn't how I've been carrying it mostly. It's just the last couple days I needed a couple extra cards because I was going out of town to an outlet and all this and there were some store cards that I needed. So when I close this, I am watching these side panels here and I'm not sure how worried I should be about those because if you put, let me show you here, if you look there, when you close this thing they're going to fold in. There's not enough room for those to fold in all the way and still have cards there. So the, the side gusset things are going to be a little wavy like this. Does that make sense? I hope so. So I feel like that's how it's supposed to be so I shouldn't be worried about it. It's not stretching it or anything. It's, it's just the shaping of it I guess is what I'm a little not even concerned about but that's what I'm looking at. So yeah that that's held that well. I do need to take a couple out. It's not overstuffed really. I mean this isn't bowing out too much or anything like that. Like I don't feel like I'm damaging it, but since it's such a pricey piece, I just want to be extra careful with it. But yeah, that's, let me count how many cards that is so you have an idea. So that's about 12 plastic cards, like credit card size. And then I have a couple of just paper cards that are thinner than the plastic ones. So that gives you an idea of what I have in there. So probably about 10 cards is what I'd be more comfortable with. And then I have some cash folded up in the back too. And that has been perfect. And what I really love about this piece in particular, and one of the reasons I was looking for a piece like this rather than another card case that I have, which I don't have in front of me. But for example, I'll put this Louis Vuitton case up. So this one you open and it doesn't, this isn't an accordion, this isn't an accordion, but I'll call it that. So it doesn't like open up and kind of accordion out like that. The Louis Vuitton one is a set pocket with a set width. So you can't fold it out and rummage through your cards very easily to see what you have. Um, I love that about this one, I can open it up, I can flip through and I can find my cards a lot easier. So that makes it more useful for me. Um, that's what I was looking for. I hope the bird is keeping you entertained. I can't, I'm not really watching her. What I'm also finding and loving about this piece is that it's allowing me, since it's a small bag, it is allowing me to wear my smaller bags more often. Cause I've said before, I'm a big bag kind of gal. I like a never full and I like a delightful and a big speedy. Um, this is letting me use smaller bags. And let me show you, there are actually two things that are letting me use smaller bags. So having the smaller wallet is one, and then I've shown you these little folding glasses that I got from Amazon. So you pull these out, and I'll link them below in case you're interested and haven't seen them before. They just open up like this, so they, these collapse and fold down, and it folds in. So it just opens up to make a full size pair of glasses. And when you fold it down, it fits into this tiny case and I'll compare like my full size reading glasses. I would usually carry in, oops, in my Louis Vuitton sunglasses case. So compare this to this and then compare the Sarah wallet to the little Chanel piece, which is basically like that, right? So having those two smaller pieces that are so compact allows me to carry a small bag. So I've been able to carry my Chanel inspired bag from San Mario. This is also an Amazon, I'll link it below. Love this bag, by the way, I've been so happy with it. If anybody's been wondering how I've been doing with it, 
The only problem with it has been, I think I've pointed this out before, when I've put my cell phone in the back pocket, the camera has rubbed up against that leather there and damaged it, torn that, uh, I, don't, I don't think it's leather actually inside that pocket, but I'm not sure. The outside is supposed to be lambskin. It's certainly very soft, like the Chanel lambskin is. It's not as soft as the Chanel, but it's a lovely piece. And when I open this up, I think this is equivalent to the Chanel medium large flap. Um, so it has the same layout as the Chanel bag and this little wallet will stand up on one side there and then I still have most of the bag left to put other things and the glasses will fit in one of the pockets and there's all that space left. Um, so I've been able to carry this bag more often because I have those two smaller pieces. I've also been able to carry my Eva clutch, let me take, I was wearing this today, so let me take the um, crossbody strap off so that's not in the way. But this piece is, this piece I've talked about before, it's really small but it holds a lot. Like, for example, it'll hold my full-size Sarah wallet and there's still room to put a few other things in there. But if I don't have to have the Sarah wallet, if I can have the Chanel wallet, it doesn't fit standing up like it fits, but I wouldn't be able to zip it, see? So I have to lay that down. And then with the glasses case in there also, there's still all that room left so I can fit everything else I need. And um, so I've been carrying this as my everyday bag for a few days now this summer. And I'm loving having this bag that's lightweight and small and what are you chewing on? and um, carefree. Pardon? Pardon? She's been saying pardon lately. Every time I say something to her, she says pardon. <clears throat> She's pretending she doesn't hear me. Don't chew in that book. So yeah, so I've been able to carry smaller bags because of the Chanel piece, so that's another reason that I've been enjoying it. So if that is something that you are thinking about, I would highly recommend it. I've just been loving it. There's nothing negative that I have to say about it at all. Um, that's it. You do have to be careful with it, more careful probably than with the Vuitton canvas, just because it's leather and it can, you know, get worn on the edges, but so can the glazing on the Vuitton canvas. So I don't know, it's your preference. But love this piece, totally worth it, uh, for me at least, and that's it. If you have any questions about it that I didn't address, because I kind of did this on the fly and I wasn't exactly sure what you wanted to know about it, if there's anything I didn't talk about that you want to know about, please ask in the comment section. If you have one of these pieces and you want to add some information about it in the comment section, please do that. And yeah, and let me know if you want to see a jewelry video too. Um, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please click the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't done that already and hit that bell notification icon so you are notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed Vincent and I will see you next time. Bye.